This is Google Sheets Basics 2. In this video, you will learn how to select cells, select rows, select columns, insert rows, insert columns, sort data, and export your sheet as a PDF or CSV file. We are going to learn how to insert rows and columns in an already completed spreadsheet. You will see for this spreadsheet, I have lots of data already entered. So let's say that I would like to add a column before column A so I can put student numbers that are associated with this particular set of laptops. By clicking this down arrow, I can insert one column to the left, and now I have a new column where I can add student number, and I can give the students numbers. And as we learned in our last video, if I put in a few numbers, highlight them, and use this square to drag down, I can have Google Sheets automatically sequentially fill the data so I can see that I have 27 computers in this set. Now, if I need to insert a row, I can click on it and I can do insert row above or row below. Incidentally, the insert menu also works for columns. Insert column left, column right. In order to have it select that, you will need to click on the entire column, and you'll know that you have it selected because the entire column is now blue. Same goes for rows. If I click on the number 10, you'll see that now the entire column has, or the entire row has turned blue. So I know that I do have it selected. And if I need to insert one, I can insert row below, and now that you'll see. Of course, doing so has thrown my numbers out of sequence, so if I'd like to correct it, I'll highlight those, drag down, and it will fix the rest of the numbers accordingly. So now it shows 28. We're also going to take a look today at sorting some data. So now I'm going to undo these changes that I made to delete that column because I don't want it there anymore. So now that I'm back to the data that I had before, I would like to sort this data. Now you can go to data and you can see that you can sort the data by column, whichever is already automatically here. It says this time column F because currently I have a block in column F selected. But I actually would like to sort by serial number so that way I can see the serial numbers in order. So I'll highlight the data that I would like to sort. Note that I did not grab my column header here, this manufacturer model number serial number. I did not grab that because it will sort that into the data if I do that. So I'm going to select data and then sort range. Now, so you'll see that I have options of column A uh, from A to Z or column A from Z to A. I do not want to sort by column A, this IBM. I want to actually sort by column D. So I'm going to select sort range and then you'll see that you have options. So I have column D and I'll click sort. And now it has put all of my information in numerical order, alphabetical order by the serial number. This can be particularly useful if you are hunting down equipment by serial number and it does not have a local name. Now finally, that I'm finished with that, I'm going to export this spreadsheet as a PDF or CSV file. Perhaps I need to share it with someone. So I will go up here to File, Download As, and here are some of the options. Here's PDF, and here's Comma Separated Value. Okay, you also can download it as an Excel spreadsheet if needed. So for this one, I'll choose PDF, and I'll change my options to fit whatever I'd like. So I'm going to do this one as portrait. Paper size is good, and I want to do just the current sheet. I could do the entire, all of the sheets, or just a certain selection, and I'll click Export. And then in my downloads, I will see right here where it says SPMS Laptop Inventory. If I click on it, now I have a PDF of that document. That was Google Sheets Basics 2. Please make sure that you check out our other videos also on Google Sheets. Thank you for watching.